In this quick video I will show you how I built my stand monitor for this Adam A77X speaker. They are actually on a medium size 53cm for 23.5cm. This is my control room where I have to install them right above on my Yamaha Nairfield monitor. My issue here, I do not have so much space on the left and right side of my desk, so the only way is to put the monitor on the back. And the desk is particular height, so plus I have to set them angled face down to receive all the frequencies from my woofer and tweeter. Then I did some research on Google to obtain some ideas how to build the stand, and these are some stands that I liked. As you can see, people have used steel, cement, PVC, and wood. What I prefer is wood because it's always a good choice for attenuate sound reflection, vibration, and other engineering stuff. Here what I did is very simple, I made a rectangular base where I can screw down two wooden pails and then a smaller rectangular wood on top. And as you can see from this picture, they fit perfectly behind my studio desk. So that's how they should look. The left stand look a bit asymmetrical because I had different measurements due to a home pillar on the right and a wall on the left. So I had to suit the stand into them. And at this point I had to realize how to angle the speaker. Unfortunately the foam pad that you can find on the market uh, they do not have my desired angle value, so I needed to build uh, my own pad. Once I finished the build the wooden pad and refined the measurement for both sides, I was ready for sanding and painting. And that's my final result. I used black and dark wood colors which fit well with my room. The stands are very solid and sturdy. And instead of buying expensive manufacturing stand monitor, you can build your oven stand speaker for $50 or less. And thanks again for watching my video and if you appreciate my tutorial and review hit the subscribe button.